It's fair to say that we are one of the primary institutes looking at disease associated with uh, dysfunctional mitochondria. And so this is a fantastic place to be doing research on this particular topic. A lot of the work is based within the lab. We have common rooms around the unit where we have common pieces of equipment that we use. Uh, but ma the majority of the work is actually done in the individual labs. The, the resources we have here are fantastic. And also the access throughout the Adam Brooks Biomedical Campus means that we can try stuff out very quickly without having to wait. A lot of the things that you would need to do your work you can find on two floors and often on one in the same corridors. If you have a question, a new idea or a new uh, avenue of inquiry that comes up from your research, you'll find someone within spitting distance to go and knock on their door and ask them questions. And it's that dialogue that is often very important to kind of move the science forward in a direction that will eventually lead to a cure for people that are suffering from these diseases. Within the unit there are several different labs and we all specialise in different aspects of mitochondrial biology. It creates a nice melting pot of diversity and ideas for people coming from different backgrounds and also different educational backgrounds as well. We've got pharmacists, biomedical scientists, cell biologists, so a real range of skills that people bring together to be able to make the most of the science that's occurring. It's very international. In fact, I think when I first arrived here and went to the pub, it wasn't hello, good evening, it was machao, uh, which was really nice. I feel there's a good bunch of people around, so whilst we do work really hard here, we always find time to have a bit of a laugh as well. And I think that's important to have that work-life balance. Each laboratory has a principal investigator who is directly responsible for the research conducted. However, there is a freedom within the lab. It's really important to have, it's called blue skies research. It is to have an opportunity to follow your kind of instinct or your thoughts about a particular problem, because this is often leads to kind of new discoveries, which then themselves lead to new opportunities, maybe in application. I think with all of these things, it's really important to try and understand what sort of significance this has to other people. And a big part of that is communicating our results, communicating what we do and what we're interested in. One of the great activities we do here is to go out and be part of science festivals or open days and to show to the public what it is that we're doing and to have that dialogue with the public. I get to go to conferences and present my data, so that can be quite far away places sometimes. So I've been to some really cool places uh, to present and learn about some really interesting science. And it's great to meet uh, enthusiastic youngsters who uh, are looking for a career in science and are looking for something a bit different from the science they study in, in school. I feel it's, a, it's a quite an important thing to try and engage children and those younger than me to, to Get, get involved in, in the scientific community and also to show them that it's fun and creative and there's also that possibility that that child might then go on to study science. I love coming into work every day. For me it's about the possibility that you could come in one morning and find out something new that nobody else has ever seen before. What this unit does is with its focus on mitochondria and all of its uh, expertise with regards to studying them you can be sure that whatever results come out of here will be your best starting platform to um, start creating drugs and run clinical trials. To this very moment still I get extremely excited about uh, seeing something new. Yeah, it's the, the privilege of actually discovering something that people may not know about. And I think that is still to this day uh, the main driving force for me.